Hello everyone, today we're going to be making pear butter, and I'm going to go ahead and flip this. the pears that I got. They're all organic. Um, we're going to go ahead and put these in these little jars. I found these jars, I found them at Fleet Farm. They're a quarter of a pint, versus these ones here that I got, they're a half pint. So, I figured the cute, these little ones are just super cute, and um, probably... Be a little bit better for the pear butter because I don't have that many pears, so I could probably fill maybe three or four of these up. We'll see. First, I'm gonna go ahead and start by washing, peeling, and I'm gonna go ahead and chop them up, and then I'll go ahead and bring you guys back and see what our next step is. All right, all peeled. Now I have to slice them up. All right, now that the pears are sliced, we're gonna take the pears to a saucepan and have them simmer down and cook for a little bit. Okay, so we got our pears in here, just kind of simmering. I did throw a little baby clementine in here. So just to kind of give it some acidity and so then the pears don't get all brown or anything like that. And just to help with the flavor. So we'll let these go ahead and cook on simmer just until they get soft. So once they do that, then we'll put them in a bowl and we can go ahead and puree them. All right, our pears are all done. So I just went ahead and just put them in the food processor and we'll go ahead and start blending that up. Let's see. I'll go ahead and blend. All right, let's take a look at it. Ooh, very steamy. <laughs> so you can see it's nice little pulp. I'll keep on blending it for a little bit more probably, and then I'll go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. All right, I blended it for another 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and add some, um, what is this? Nutmeg, <laughs> some nutmeg in there and some cinnamon, just to give it some more flavor. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of sugar, not too much, I don't want it to be too over sugary. Um, that was about an eighth of a cup that I just put in there. We'll blend all that up again, and then we'll go ahead and taste it, see how it tastes. Okay, I blended all the ingredients up. I'll give a little bit of a taste. Oh yeah, and that tastes perfect. So, next I'm going to go ahead and let it cool down just a little bit, just so then it's easier to handle. And there we go, there's me. Um, after I let it just, just a little bit, not too, too much, and then I'm going to go ahead and start jarring it up and put it all in the jars. All right, I got it all jarred up. I got four of the quarter, was it, quarter pint jars, and then just one of the other jars, which this one will probably just eat in the fridge right away. The other four, I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and... Probably giveaway is like like kind of like a little gift or something that some of my parents can try um, or just store in the pantry is good too. But all right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of me making the pear butter. If you have any questions or anything, just throw it in the comments. If you guys made pear butter, um, what's your experience? How was it? Was it? Did you guys do anything different? Um, go ahead and throw it in the comments. All right, well. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching. So my hubby was amazing and sealed my pear butter jars. So I can go ahead and put those away for storage. And I'm going to go ahead and taste test the other jar that we have open. All right, I'm just spreading some on some toast here. My awesome spreading job here. And then so I can eat one because I'm hungry. And then the kids can go ahead and see if they like it. Alright, 
So I got my toast all ready. And I tasted it before, obviously, but it tasted super good. I wanted to put it on toast. It tastes super good. My hubby said it tastes like applesauce, but pear. So, <laughs> but thanks again for everybody watching. And I hope everyone has a great day.